Okay, if... Uh, Evelios, are you catching up with the rest of the group? Um, I think Evelios is AFK. Okay. And, uh, and Athena needs to be catch up, too. Yeah, uh, Nal, Nal and, uh, and Aerith were kind of far behind with that little conversation. Yeah. Yep, yeah, uh, I almost had Zuri come after you guys, but thank god y'all catching up on your own. Yep, so all of you walk into this big room. You see potions lined everywhere, crystals emanating magic. Dezo and Gwen, you guys are near a giant bubbling cauldron. Ooh, pretty. Uh, I see a teleportation! Teleportation uh, rules! Teleportation rules! Teleportation rules! Mm-hmm. Um... Game grows wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, Arif goes and sees, uh, a lizard, um, in its natural, um, little habitat, and she kind of, kind of pokes at the, at the, uh, the glass of it, to wake it up. Um, I need- I Too actually long. need Null and a leash to make perception checks for me. Oh god. Please don't say that. Please don't say that. the lizard's gonna be- Oh gosh, please don't tell me he's turned him himself into a lizard. I mean, it is- No one doesn't know! No one doesn't know. He's saw oh. nothing. Okay. Can Nephri make a perception check? Um, you are- you're a little too far away, but thankfully the DC is not that high, Elish. You look behind you at this bookshelf, and you see a bunch of tump of books on the ground in a big pile, and all you hear is, Oof! 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 Okay, is that he's gonna move off of the book pile, because he was technically on top of it? Ooh. He didn't know I thought it was a bookshelf and a book pile. Ah, oh, gosh. Yep. So um, I'll go over and move move uh, books carefully. Um, if you need some help, I'll come over to help. I don't mind helping. Mind helping well, either. Let's find out what's what's going on here. So I start clearing out books. Yep, so okay. all, all of you come to clear off books on the pile, and you see um, a pretty young man with like a purple and gold rope, short black black hair, and he's got this nerdy face. Then oh my gosh. He's going, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I never thought if I were to die, it would be in from a book and not from a spell. <laughs> wow. So I, I continue to clear, clear him off and help him up. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. You're um, you are the resident mage? Uh, I prefer to be called the magic advisor, but mage works too, I guess. Magic advisor just sounds cooler. You well, know, there is a there is technically a difference as to whether you study magic or you use magic. So you seem to um, know a lot. I study and use magic. So you're a mage too, huh? Yes, I am. First in. The type of magic that is used in combat. With the soldier background. Ah, a war mage, then. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. Oh, oh, there's a lot of people here. Sorry, didn't see any of you here. Well, let's get introductions. I am a lead. All right, Leash. My my name is Trellis. 
pleasure to meet you. Yeah, not a character. First it was a Disney reference, now it's a Cuphead reference. What that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's Cuphead? Ah, uh, first Disney I of heard Cuphead. Chalice. I swear I heard Chalice. Yeah, same. It's Trellis. Trellis with like a T. Well, that Sounds would be because like trellis was trellis. <laughs> okay, my apologies. Like trillion. I thought, I thought it was trellis. <laughs> oh, my apologies. <sighs> okay, so who's next in introductions? How about Nephite? <laughs> Well, pleasure to meet you, Mr. or Sir Trellis. My name is Nephrite, and the. And she does a double take, just seeing Zuri now perched on the table. And the mechanical bird that's perched on your table is my steel defender, Zuri. And she kind of whistles to summon him back. Oh, wow. Wow, what a magnificent bird. Well. He look. He goes towards it and takes a look at it clearly. Oh, the shine, the the gem details. It's it's remarkable. Thank you. Did you buy him? Did you make him? Details, details. And he actually tries to grab like the wings of Suri to kind of pull pull them so you can see the insides of the rings. Yeah, Suri kind of pecks him. Ow, saying ow, no. Ow. Yep, no. I deserve that. I deserve that. My apologies, sir. My father and I made him when I was little. And if you're trying to see the inside of his wings, Zuri, unfurl. And he unfurls his wings willingly. Noted. Duly noted. Ow. He kind of rubs where. <laughs> He was pecked. And then he looks at Quinn and going, Whoa. Wow. You are an interesting little being, aren't you? Quinn gives an innocent smile. Nice to meet you. I'm nice to meet you. My name is Quinn. He holds out his hand to shake. And can you see the black spot on his hand? Yes, he can. All right. Oh, and manners too. Wow. This group is just full of surprises. And, uh, Nall offers his hand. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Nall, and uh, apparently I know sorcery, though I wasn't mm. born with it. Really? Well, source. Well, there is a thing like wild magic. It just poof appears out of nowhere at times. Maybe, maybe it's something else too. Uh, I, uh, he didn't. Nal's not ashamed of showing it. He uh, he shows off the dragon scales on his arms. Wow. Whoa, that's... Looks like we got, like, a big hit of wild magic, it says. Goodness. Well, we can definitely check that out, if you like. I... I'm okay with it. Uh, it's... I, I have to live with it, and it's been... It, I put it to good use over the years. Well, that's always a good thing. Good use for good magic, as I say. Eric comes up and going, Hi, I'm Aerith. And, well, I, I'm a father of Mistra. Mistra, the lady of magic herself. And he looks at her and sees the multicolored eyes that keep swirling around. And an interesting feature. Look at 
those. Were you born with them? It just were you. You got hit with magic? What's the deal? Um. They just kind of came, I, I guess. I don't really know. Hmm. <laughs> well, you've got a future that makes you unique. That's rare in these kinds of worlds. And I see there are two others in here, and this dragonborn. Days will like look at him. Yes. I just wanted to say hi. And he gives oh. off this goofy smile. <sighs> it's like it, you can tell in her head. It's like she's thinking, "Oh, please, not another salmon roll." <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, be glad. Hey, be glad it's not another cran. And then it's like she'll, then she'll like say, "Sorry, I didn't catch your name." Uh, no problem. My name is Trellis. Oh, mine is Dezo. Mm -hmm. And I see you've met my friend Gual here. Yeah, he's very friendly. <laughs> That's rare. Normally he doesn't warm up to people. Dezo, like, lower a hand to, to the lizard. The lizard kind of um, sniffs it and kind of scurries away into its uh, little hole. Mm. Oh well. And is um, game back? Yes. Yay! We have an Elios! <laughs> He's going. And I guess we'll save the best for last. Nice to meet you, sir. I wouldn't necessarily call me the best. I'm just here to help others. It's my job. My name's Avelios. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Aren't we all? We're all we're all trying to help each other. We we like helping, don't we? Yes, quite. Hi. Right. Guess now we go to business. So. Why you guys are here. You didn't just come here just to help me out of my book predicament. The monarchy has something that they would like you to investigate upon us. It will take some time for you to set it up for, for doing everyone in the fact that you would need to do the identify spell, preferably as a ritual so that you're not you know, mm. using energy hmm. uh, each one of us has the mark has a different mark upon us in a different location so it may seem a little awkward at first hmm. I intend I intend to do my I intend to do myself I will I'll be over here next to this uh, this table he points at this over here. um that's my dresser hmm okay well I mean I just kind of figured I'd use a table or something that was out of the way. Yeah, as much as we are kind of going good terms, I, I don't want anyone to go into my room, please. Alright, so I'll just uh, be over here, out of the way. Alright then. And what is this mark that he, he says? I believe, uh, let's see, the, I as a person have forgotten out who has the mark on the hand. Nephite. That would be Nephite. Nephite. So he, he will indicate that Nephite has the easiest to display and can show you at least preliminarily what, what we are talking about. Nephite will uh, 
kindly show him her hand, revealing the mark. Whoa, that's... That's something I never... That is remarkable, whatever this is. I've never seen magic like this. <sighs> How did it... How did it get on you? We don't know. We woke up with it. Well, full explanation is we don't know how it got there. But we know who placed it on there. Who? Altia. Altia? You mean that psycho lady? Yep, yes. the very same. I thought... I thought her lap was shut down. Nope. By the looks of it, she found a new patron. Well, then... This is surely advanced stuff if she's involved in this. Alright. Uh, let me see what I... What I can do. Um, here, maybe this will help. He goes over to the, the circle, and he rubs out a couple of the letters and replaces it with some some new ones. Mm -hmm. And then he hurries um. off. He hurries off to the table and grabs a few things and puts them in the center. Uh, okay. Can I ask one of you to stand up on the circle, please? Okay, so we'll go over to the circle. Alright. Everyone else, step back, please. That's right, taking a good 15 feet back. <laughs> Alright. He ruff he ruffles through the pages of the the book that he has on, quickly checking the table of contents <laughs> to find the right spell incantation. Can I roll Arcana to figure out which spell he's doing? Yes, you can. Yay! First spell, first roll of the day. Well, first roll of the day for me. Mm -hmm. Is that a normal to public? Okay. Argana. Eleven. Not a twelve. Does eleven say anything? Um, you kind of get a sense that it's a, an identify spell, but it's really in the high, high grades of it. Like, you almost can confuse it for, like, legend lore. Ooh, I'm shutting up. Yep. So he cast the spell at a, around ten ten minutes and you start to see the circle glow a bit. And he then asks, Alright, Miss Dazo, I need you to be clear of exactly how you got that mark. Like, what happened? Did you feel anything? Did you... See we, something? Anything? We... Uh... I... Did not feel anything. We just woke up with it. With the mark on our... On us. 
He woke up with the mark on the marks in. Are there any side effects you you notice? Any anything? I Every time we use our magic, it the mark just feels warm. All right. Anything? What about anything you see, like? Any visions? Anything? I had a dream. I met a woman. A woman? Yes. Okay, keep, keep her going name. On. Yeah, her name was uh remind me of the woman's name again alanta. alanta yeah alanta okay her name was alanta and as soon as you said those words the green circle glows very very bright and on Top of Dezo's, um head reaching the ceiling, you see this. Oh, no! that's terrifying. Yeah, poor cool. oh, Yeah. Okay. Yep, and I am actually writing down what she says because my throat is a little too scarred with the voice. Very, very yeah, well. Okay. Um, One of us could read it. I mean, if you need me to, I can. Okay. I don't mind reading it either if you need help. I swear to Alkma, if if this woman is the reason behind these scars, I'm gonna go ballistic. I have a feeling that woman is Alanta. I bet you anything. I'm sorry, who? The woman. I mean, right after you said the name, this popped up, so... <laughs> Do you know what chance it is? I say about so five. <laughs> I, I say about five out of ten. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> She was. <laughs> Jeez, how long is she gonna speak? No, guys, she's just typing it out. It's okay. Yep, I'm I know. typing it out. I know. The mark is will. The mark is will let to the promised land, where men will be equal under the rule of the dead land. The dragon will spread the sickness. The lady of poison will be free. Oh, what is it? Free? No, the lady of poison will be free. That part, keep that in your mind, because that's going to be something that's going to be bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> the old forgotten gods reborn, and all will return under her rule as nature designed it. Okay, what? Okay. We're dealing with an Asmodeus level... Danger. We're doing it with an avid Asmodeus danger level here. Yep. And as um, soon as the lady in the flames finishes reading that, she disappears. And the circle dims again. And, Dezo, can you actually roll a, a d6 for me? Um, okay. This is the one time I'm asking for a one. No! You take five damage I... from your mark. Ouch! 
Altinho, uau, uau. Um, yeah? Ow. Yeah. Trellis goes over and is going, You okay? How do you... F and he's got, like, a blank notebook beside him, and he's writing down... Okay, how do you, how do you feel? Do you sick? Do you feel sick at all? Oh, nauseating? Headache? Anything? No, it's just pain from my arm. <sighs> from the mark. Oh. Okay, hold, hold on for one moment. Yeah, he touches just you. Wait. Yeah, he just touches you and casts cure wounds on you. I love that spell. Thank you. Not enough to get rid of that mark, but it soothes the pain. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, again. And I sent that to. Yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yep, he heals Yeah, me. you're back home. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I did not expect that to happen at all. So, what does it mean? Uh. Um, okay. It, it would seem like this mark was not given by Altair, but maybe from a god. A forgotten god from this point. Okay. Move out of the way. Move, move, move. He goes to his bookcase and grabs a number. A number of books and placing them all down like this. <laughs> uh, I'll assist with the books while he's just scattering. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes, it makes sense. Kinda. Kinda makes sense. So, but best theory I got so, so far that whatever, whoever that that woman, woman that said she she might be a forgotten god. Like they all know the five, right? The ones that build this land. But history. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Mistra, the goddess of magic. Ogma, the god of knowledge. Uh. Help. Helm, the god of protection. But she said a goddess of poison. Yeah. And no, there's not really a god of poison, and as far as the records show, there are there are other there were other gods that could be depicted as poison, like I don't know, there's Shar, the goddess of dark, darkness and loss. Um. That was one theory that came into my head, but that kind of negated. Uh, DM? Out of yeah. question. Out of character question. Can yeah. I roll a religion check? Because, player-wise, I think I know the goddess you're talking about. Character-wise, I want to try and put two and two together. Go right ahead. Woof! Uh, my ears. I can't do the 11 today. <laughs> a very cute, a period of 11s love you. <laughs> this is my second 11 today. Um, so yay or nay for me to say the theory? 
Nay. No. Okay. It, it feels like it's on the tip of your tongue. Like, you know who it is, you're, who you're trying to talk about, but the name escapes you. The player-wise, I know the name! <laughs> DM me who you think the name, what you think the name is. <laughs> Yeah, well, first let me double check on the in the handbook because I know the goddess who it is. The, give me a second. And if if anyone else has has a theory on figuring it out, please let me know. Could, um, so try to rule the religion so if she would know? She can try. Although I'm not proficient in it, but... Mm. Nope! Nope. <laughs> She's like two days from what happened. Yep, and I'm actually gonna let Aerith um well too since she's proficient in religion. Oh yeah, twenty two. Oh yeah, she knows. Yep. She knows. And she's scared. Like, you can look, you can tell the look in her face, and she is terrified. Aerith? Is it Aerith? Do you, do you know who, who, which god it is? I, I think I do, but it's... She's scary. Which god is it? I believe her name is... Talona. Talona. Out of character, I was right! <laughs> yeah, but your character didn't know! I mad about this, but I was right! <laughs> Yep, you hear Trellis, I light up going, Talona, Talona, of course, the goddess of disease and poison. That kind of makes sense, I, now that I really think about it. So, Talona, a forgotten god is doing this? Well... According to, to the history books, books, it says here that she poisoned some of the some of the other gods to fall into darkness, and the five had to stop her and put down the other gods, which is why they are, well, now forgotten. So then, then one part of the prophecy we have knocked out, then there's the Oh like, yeah, Nephrite's just like she's racking her brain on this entire prophecy, including the player, because I know You wouldn't happen to ha know of anything about the order, would you? The order? What's the order? Yes. Um. We 
all had the same dream about it. I'm sorry, I don't know. We could try that spell again and see if we can pick up anything about the order. I mean, then she's gonna look to the days that's gonna look to everybody. Do you think we should? Try to gather as much info as we can on the Order and who they are. In my opinion, I believe that would be that would be a good idea, but yet, ugh. who would actually go up there? Aside from you, Dezo. I would. No steps forward. I'll do it. Yeah, no she... sense, Quinn, but I'm not too sure you would handle that kind of spell if it did that to Dezo. Yeah, and then Dezo will just hug when it's like you are just still too young to handle it. I quite agree. So Trellis goes back into his desk to gather the necessary stuff and we work the circle again. Alright, Null, when you're ready. Okay. I'm ready. He begins the enchantment again, and the green circle goes around you. Now think clearly. What do you remember about the order? You said that they welcomed us into, welcomed us to the order, and something about granting us power, or something. Any more? Uh, kind of uh, don't remember that much out of character. I'm sorry. Just, okay. The, okay, gonna... Just the general details of what uh, we experienced in that first dream. Okay, I'm gonna give you a freebie on this one that that you remember the date that there were five figures that That's you saw in the fine. dream. That's fine. Yeah. Yes, that much I do. Just uh, the details were kind of muddy. Yeah. And as, as you speak, you start to look up and you start to see uh, the figures of five there. All draped in shadow exactly how it was in your dream. And you hear each of them speak. Um, one is in a raspity voice and says the shadow another one in a female voice going the plague the other one right on the other side would say the sentinel and another one a woman in a very familiar voice saying the right hand and the other one who who removes his cloak to reveal this <laughs> oh Run. gosh not again the sword and her servant after that it goes right back
the circle spell diminishes. And no, I need you to roll me a d6. From your mark! You take five damage from your mark. Yeah. Ouch. Again. Same thing as... Tisa! Yay! Yep, this time air goes up and casts Cure Wounds on ya. She's she's trying to. Come on. If you need me to, I can. Yeah, it's just Oh, that's why that's why I need to select my level. Do I Reaper? <laughs> I need to select my level, doy. <laughs> yeah, that would yeah. probably help. Mm hmm. Wow. That is a lot to unload here. I'm, I'm going to guess that those five are. The order? Yeah. Yes. The one that's mm -hmm. in the right hand, her her voice sounded familiar. Yes. But, uh, yeah. DM, but, do uh, we need yeah, to... My, uh, uh, would, would, that, would that voice be familiar to just Null? No, it's familiar uh, to yeah. all of you, and I'll ask all of you to roll a history check for that. I was just about yeah. to ask. History, uh... Nine. Oh, I got a zero. Ten out of five. this might not gonna be any better. I got a five. Oh, twelve. I want... I'm gonna get... Ten out of one chance it's not gonna be any better, I bet. Nope! Elise, do you want to get in on this, or...? Or are you off on your own? He's AFK at the moment. Yeah, he's away from keyboard. I sent I sent a PDM. I sent a whisper. Yeah, bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. I mean, if that. I'm if I'm able if I'm able to kind of hear and be aware of what, kind of what's going on then. I don't mind, but I am kind of trying to do my own thing over here. Yeah, but I say if you're trying to do your your own thing, you're only like half paying attention to what's happening on the other side of the room. Yep. Yep, so, nope. So, <clears throat> Dezo, Gwen, and Nephrite, you guys remember that voice as the woman who locked you in those cells in the first place. That was Ultia, if I had to guess. And your guess would be correct. Yeah, that was Ultia. Yep. Mm. So it appears Ultia is a member of this order, then. That can't be good. Yes. The other voices didn't sound familiar at all. Hmm. Let's see. That's a lot to take in. Well, I've got to admit, I... I never thought this would be this big. So... I guess the logical next step would be to stop them for doing whatever is there is they're doing. But how? 
I'm afraid that might might take a lot more time. Especially they need to figure out yeah. what they're planning and how they're gonna do it. I know they're trying to catch us as we escape from their little lab. Hmm. And I don't know where my friend is. I'm hoping she's okay. Your friend? Yeah, she's another dragonborn like me. Hmm. I see. Yeah, we were in... in the town shopping when that big giant scar in the sky came down. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Scar in the sky? Why didn't you mention that beforehand? Apologies for not giving you that information beforehand. Flip through this, 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 this. Here he is. Um, in order, in order to uh, defeat Talona, they actually trapped her. Maybe, and you said you all got your marks from that crack. Well, maybe that's her power. Going towards you guys. Maybe that's how you got your mark. Well, we seen a big flash of light and we all passed out. Wait, that crack in the sky? Maybe you said that they see the old the other god sealed her away. Maybe the crack was her being unsealed or something. That could possibly be, be the, be the answer. Wait, we also heard her say, when, the, uh, when, when she appeared, when Daisy was being in the circle, she said the dragon will spread the sickness. Wasn't there like a dragon that appeared at one point as well? Yeah. Something that. Maybe, the, maybe that's what that's what was spoken of. Uh, can we really do it? It's a a possibility. I mean, if stories so of there's. There's a story of a party just like us who was able to not only defeat a horde of demons, but also take out a god. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I, I had the lie and say, oh god, there were three. <laughs> nice. Wait, actually, didn't they take out two, to be fair? Accidentally took out one, and they purposely took out two. What was the other one? Solinor, Lolf, Asmodeus. In that order. Oh. Mm -hmm. Really? Ah. Uh, uh, Solinor. Um. Uh, welcome to the show. Really? <laughs> so let me get this straight. If I had to guess, the reason why I'm using this is because this is probably the realm in the future, isn't it? Nope. I actually just did that. It's just a full-on joke. Dang it! I, w I was hoping that would actually be true. No, no. when Null said, are you sure we can do this? That was just the perfect setup, so thank mm. you, Storm! Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping that would actually be true. Uh. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> but anyway, with the joke aside... 
Yeah. <laughs> so, in other words, we, as the way I mean, all of us would have to use our marks against her. Wow, that actually sounds kind of fun. I'm not too sure that's the definition of fun. I mean, it is a plausible theory. It's not impossible. It, I agree. It's not impossible. I mean, if she gave, she made it through and gave her you her power, maybe that's the kind of power that can push her back. It depends if she gained more power. If she's stronger. Hmm. Because we don't know how, what her, what she, if she's strong or not. If she could send, if she could send, Mox through a crack. I think that pretty much sums it up. Hmm. This will definitely have to be put in more research about this. Also, it's possible to re try to research what the gods actually did to imprison her and see if we can use the same method to imprison her again. Worth a try. Mm-hmm. If it was ceiling, maybe it was an item or a spell. Or maybe a person. Uh, Trellis actually points to you, Gwen, and he's going, You might be onto something. Because when the gods leave, they left behind their artifacts. Not just, you know, the five gods, even the forgotten gods left behind their artifacts. So maybe one of them can give us a clue. Well, it could also be a spell in combination with them. This is just an out of character question to everybody. Who has the orb? Uh, ah. Elise does. Elise does. Would Elise mind giving the orb to anybody else? That way we can try to see if that's an artifact of. Uh, Talana? Or heck, even Mistra, possibly? If, in the case of Mistra, maybe he should hand it to Aerith. See if... Well, right now, he's kind of, like, across the room, you know. Yeah, like, he's, like, you guys are all talking, he's kind of, like, in a meditated state over there. Yeah, and I don't want to break book. anybody's meditate. Yeah, I don't want to break anybody's meditation. I'm not that dumb. <laughs> That's like trying to wake a grizzly bear from a sleep. You better be prepared to duck if he swings. I could go ask. Like I said earlier, be prepared to duck if he swings. Or he... duck if he shoots. He doesn't really know that. <laughs> 